Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a review on HelloFresh. We're going to be seeing how fresh it really is, if it's a good alternative to the typical go to the shop and buy your dinner option. We're going to be seeing how fresh the goods really are, seeing how good the portions are, quality of meat and all other bits and bobs. So without further ado, let's get this box open. See what they have inside. Let's see, reuse and recycle, blah blah blah, paper packaging, da, 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 cool pouch, ice packs, more sustainable way of cooking, reducing food waste, fresh from the source, lower carbon footprint, carbon neutral to your doorstep. These are the recipes. They provide you a recipe with every single meal you order provide all the goods that you need to make the recipe. Images of the actual recipe, name, how long it takes. If you flip over to the back, it gives you a clear indication of how much of each ingredient you should use, and the tools you'll need for your cooking session, and obviously a little tip, wash your fruits before you use them. Nutrition, calories, allergens, contact information, and a step-by-step -step cooking guide on how to make your dish. Just to mention, it gives you a little number at the top of your recipe. So what that number indicates is where that recipe actually is. So each recipe comes in its own little package, all of them numbered, so you know what is inside each one of their packages. So I know number 26 is in there, and I've ordered this recipe to be for two people, so it's all sorted. I will show you what's inside these in a second, but let's first get everything out of the way. So after emptying that, you have a thing called the fresh pack. In this fresh pack are all the goods that need to be kept cool. So it's got an ice pack in there. I know because we ordered it last week. Oh, that's new. This wasn't in there before. A little mini coupon list. Let's get this open. Soft. By the way, the whole thing is made from recycled plastics. So, this is usually where all the meats are. Smoked bacon, boneless chicken thighs, blue cheese, ice pack. Like I said, literally solid ice. Oop. That's probably the coleslaw mix. Mature cheese. Lamb mints, beef mints, yogurt, lamb mints, sour cream. So, after unpacking the box, you're left with something like this. Each little packet containing its recipe. So what I like to do, I like to match the packets with the recipe and put them to the side. Um, I'm gonna throw the rest of the stuff that I'm not using in the fridge. I just ran over asked my girlfriend which one she prefers and then we came to the decision to pick the fruity middle eastern number 14. so let's get that unpacked see what it looks like inside harissa paste that couscous dill some prunes cumin chicken stock tomato paste and an onion so as simply as that, you've got all your ingredients that were packed all in one numbered packet. Number 14, you've got your recipe. I recommend always placing out all the goods before you start cooking. Give them a clean, give them a wash, and just make it easier for yourself. Another tip I'd recommend giving you guys is uh, read through all of these steps 
before you actually start cooking because the last couple of times what I've done, I've just winged it like I do with everything. So they give you exactly what you need. So there's 120 grams of couscous that you need and they've provided you 120 grams of couscous. So the next step is to actually cook the dish. So we're gonna see how easy this is. This is meant to be a rapid 20 minute dish, two of your five a day, nothing confusing, nothing hard, but we'll see how I handle it. I think of myself as quite um, a good chef. Okay. Actually, I think of myself as quite an excellent chef. Okay. We'll see how I handle this and we'll see if really I am as good as I think I am. So we've made the executive decision to let my girlfriend do the cooking. So we're gonna put you in the oven, Moose. Oh yeah. Mm. That is good. That is really good. All right, go make your own. All right guys, so now it's time to run through the app interface. Starting off, this is the home screen. Gives you today's date, what's been delivered, what's coming up. If you scroll a bit lower, it gives you premium recipes, delicious extras, and the recipe hub. Scrolling back up, if we press cook it, it allows you to pick the meals that have been delivered this week. 
you press cook it, gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to cook your meal, how to prep your meal, all of that good stuff. If you press the little microphone here, it gives you voice control. So when you're cooking, you can do something as simple as read. Transfer the beef mix to an oven proof dish. We used a 20 x 20 centimeters dish for two. Simple as. Now, let me show you the menu. If you press my menu, I've already selected Monday 22nd, so we'll go to Monday 1st. Here you can see and pick what you want for the next week to arrive. My cutoff date is Tuesday, so I have to pick everything by Tuesday. Fine roast chicken, okay, I want that. I want that, I want, okay, right, let's say I don't want the burger because I'm trying to lose some weight. Simple as pressing the minus, and then you can scroll down and pick anything else you want from this menu. They usually pick the four or five meals that you selected. It depends on how many meals you've ordered per week. You've also got this section, which is the street food and premium meals. They incur a small charge per portion. So let's say I wanted the lamb steaks, it would be two pound 49 extra per serving. So, you know, for two people, that'd be almost five pound extra, but you get the idea. This is the menu, I'll pick add. Obviously, it tells you how long the meal takes to cook, how many calories, difficulty of it, gives you all the ingredients. You can have a look. You can have a look at allergens and stuff like that. Nutritional values, it's got all of that. What tools you'll need. And of course, the cooking steps. So again, you can have a whiz through that. Now it allows us to save. We save it before allowing us to go back to the menu. It asks us, do we want any sides? Maybe we want some brunch they offer as well. Maybe some desserts, which are coming up now. So you can add all of these every single week to your box. So I've got that all done and dusted. Now I know it's going to arrive on Monday, 1st of March. I can edit the delivery and change my delivery dates. Also, I can skip a week if, I, if I'm not gonna be home, if I'm on a holiday, etc., which is not happening because we're all in lockdown. If we go to settings now, you can change your plan size. You've got all that good stuff over here. You can change your menu preference, what type of meals you usually eat. So if you're not much of a meat eater, you can have veggie options. Delivery date, all of that over here. Certain times of the delivery date incur a charge. You've got your cookbook where you can save your favorite recipe. You've got your order history. You've got all the good stuff in settings. Now let's go back to homepage and press recipe hub. Within the recipe hub, you have every single recipe they have. So 2,500 recipes all at your disposal in case, let's say you, you want to cook a recipe but you don't want to order it or you wanna try it your way, you can look at the recipe, look at the things you need, go to the shop, buy them, press start cooking and start start cooking, you know? You've also got a thing called Hello Friends. Um, I currently have four free boxes to give away. So guys, drop down your email or a way for me to contact you and tell me you want a free box. I will send those boxes over to you, but quickly because they're gonna disappear like that, I'm sure. Also, I've got a 20 pound off. So if anyone wants that 20 pound off, the link will be in the description. You press that link, you sign up, you get 20 pound, I get 20 pound, everyone's happy. Like I mentioned earlier, this will pick your meals for you in case you forget. So for my next couple of weeks, it's all picked and you, I haven't seen anything the same. So it feels like every single week is something new. You've got a whole new menu to pick from. You know, it's good to learn new skills. Personally, I think it's a great app. It teaches you how to be a better cook. It allows you to explore new recipes. It allows you to learn new skills. Some of the meals that are on there, I would have never thought of cooking, but after they've arrived, you know, decided to try them, I've loved them. It is also really good if you've got a really busy schedule and you don't have time to be going to the shop every single week, buying all these ingredients and whatnot. They come in simple little packages, as you saw in the video. You put them into the fridge. You know what you're having for the rest of the week. You know, you know, Monday you're having this, Tuesday you're having that, and if you don't like it, you switch it around. At the end of the day, you can only pick it for four days, three days, you know, whatever suits your needs. We originally started with four days, now we've moved to five days because um, we've realized how simple it is and yet how creative and educating and, you know, fun it is to cook those meals because you're learning skills 
that you'll keep and I believe that it teaches everyone to be a better chef. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. That was a quick run through of um, the app interface, what comes into the box. I'm sorry if the video was a bit long, but there was so much details to cover. Hope this helps you make up your mind if you want to try something like this. And if you want 20 pound off or a free box, look at the description, I'll sort you out so you can try it out without permanently tying yourself into it. So if you found that informative or enjoyed the video, please leave a like subscribe if you are as so kind to do so other than that i'd like to thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye bye